Blackmore's Limited ASX BKL is Australia's leading healthcare brand. And joining me is Christine Holgate, the CEO of Blackmore's. Hello, Christine. Welcome. Now, uh, you've just made an announcement about a very important acquisition for the company. But before we talk about that, um, what an amazing nine months of growth for the, for the group. It's certainly been a busy time, and, but an exciting time. So you've seen um, hundreds of millions of dollars in, in sales across both the domestic markets and the Asian markets. Um, quickly, just touch on the Asian market and why that's so important. Well, the group delivered $535 million in sales and Asian consumers, so not always in Asia, but Asian consumers influence, influence is now about 50% of, of the group. So um, the group was up 72% in sales, a massive profit result at over $75 million, and that was up 145% year on year and up 63% on the whole of last year. And what's happening is, is that these Asian consumers buying our products are really enabling us to drive operating leverage and scale through our business. So actually, it's enabling us to make more profitable business for our Australian um, products as well. Now, Christine, the, the company's done phenomenal sales across the Asia region. Why is it that there seems to be a very strong demand pull an understanding of the Blackmore's product range with Asian community? Well, Blackmore's been in Asia for over 40 years, so we're not exactly new to them. They're really well-researched um, and savvy shoppers. So Blackmore's is the most trusted brand in natural health in many of our markets. It's something we feel very privileged to have. It's really important that trust in our quality, our ingredients, our therapeutic dosages is really important for the Chinese shopper. And if you look at Australia, we've had over a million visitors um, to Australia. So people know our brand. The Chinese know our brand. And um, it's a combination. And it's great to be Australian. Now, let's get to the exciting part. Um, Global Therapeutics is a company that's in the, the Chinese herbal medicine space. This is the acquisition that you're making. Please explain. Well, we've acquired 100% of Global Therapeutics. They have two leading brands, Oriental Botanicals, which service pharmacies, and Fusion, which serves health food stores. They're the leading brand in this category. They're Chinese herbal medicine. Um, we think this is a really important and growing part of the market. We acquired the business for 23 million. It'll be fully debt funded. We have about 40 staff. It's a good Australian company. They're based up in Byron Bay and we feel very proud that we're going to be part of the Blackmore Stable. Now you've acquired Global Therapeutics for $23 million. The market's going to need to understand, is that a value proposition for Blackmore's? Uh, is it a ca was it a cash deal? It's $23 million in cash, although $2 million is held in escrow, just to make sure that we do achieve some of the objectives that we've agreed in the contract. I think that's important. Um, the company in the past 12 months has delivered 20 million in revenue and 3 million in EBIT. And it's got great growth. It's growing at over 24%. And that's not actually taking any benefit of being an age. It's totally Australian sales. So at Team Blackmore's, we believe that we can really invest in this business. And we can you know, benefit from all the leverage and scale that Blackmore's has, just like we have with Biosuticals and really help support much bigger future growth. So we think, you know, eight times current EBIT with such strong growth, a leadership position in health food stores, probably we estimate, we can only estimate, 80% market share in the um, TCM, Chinese herbal medicine part of the market. Um, I think it's pretty exciting. Mm. I can see a pattern, Christine. Um, early in January, you announced the partnership with Bega that was very successful and was very much focused on providing a quality product, infant formula, and popular in China. And now, only a few months later, you've got the Global Therapeutics. There's a very strong strategy there. Blackmore's, um, for many years, has stated our commitment to have Asia growth right at the heart of our strategy. 
today's announcement is one more thing which is really building our expertise. Global therapeutics is really important for Blackmores for a number of different reasons. You know, China is a big part of our strategy. That opportunity to learn and understand the Chinese consumer is really, really important mm. to us. And so understanding about traditional Chinese medicine is a really important part about really understanding the health needs of Chinese consumers. So we see that as a very important aspect of this, of this acquisition. But we've got great respect for these brands. They really are market leaders, and, and that enables to have a market-leading position in health food stores, which we've been a little bit weaker on in the last 10 years. So I think also, which is often overlooked, and I think was very important for us when we acquired Biosuticals, was the values and culture of that team we feel are very aligned to ours, like we do with the Bega team. So we've got this sort of passion for Asia and China. You've got really strong aligned values and culture in the people. And you've got giving us another plank to our leadership position. We're now the leading brand in Australia, right across every channel. So we think it's an exciting opportunity. It is an exciting opportunity. Christine Hargate, CEO of Blackmores, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Following today's announcement by Blackmores of an acquisition of a healthcare company, an Australian healthcare company, Global Therapeutics, uh, I've looked up the founder and technical director of Global Therapeutics, Paul Keogh. Welcome, Thank Paul. Thanks very much. Now it's very exciting news for you guys. It is. Very, very exciting. So Blackmores, is, is you found Blackmores, Blackmores found you. How did that happen? Well, I think Blackmores and, and us have been uh, crossing paths for years, but fundamentally we, we went out to the market with an offering and and found Blackmores. Now, your company, um, through organic growth, as a yes. private company, has achieved astonishing growth rates in the last three years. Yes. Um, uh, and now Blackmores is going to allow you to expand that at a much faster rate? That's the plan. The, um, the, we've demonstrated um, capacity within our organisation and um, success in terms of <coughs> the launch of products, the the return on investment for the shareholders in, in, in respect to growth, it's been phenomenal. And we've got a great team, we've got great organisational um, systems. We want to upscale those. Mm. And Blackmores are um, a perfect um, um, acquirer for a company like ours. We feel very comfortable with their, their um, philosophy their history. Well, you share culture. a similar thing. You're a homegrown Australian Absolutely. company. Blackmores yep. is a homegrown, well-known Australian brand. Yeah. But you're also bringing something to the table here that Blackmores it needs, well, doesn't need, but is going doesn't to come matter. into the portfolio, which is the health food channels. Yeah, we've got a really good share of the health channel and we're very respected. Fusion Health brand is has 25% share of the health food channel. It's um, a, an exclusive brand, so it's not available in any other channel and it never will be, and we've got that commitment. It's a very solid uh, health food brand that's supporting um, the many, many organisations, many, many um, um, health uh, stores and, and their staff, and it's, uh, it's something we're very, very proud of. Now, Paul, you've come into the Blackmores family now, but you're keeping the product separate. We're keeping the brand separate. The brand Absolutely. separate, yeah. yes. And, and the reason being is that, that, that the potential within those brands has not been fully realised. And with the resources and the support, um, my vision, and, and this is why I'm staying with the company, is because I still have a vision for this, for the brands, and it, it's one that, um, so, you know, is, is supported by Blackmores, and I've had discussions with them about how to achieve that, and we're aligned in our, in our strategic um, ideas and planning and together with the staff that I have and the opportunities that Blackmores open up for, for those staff to develop the, their careers, mm. for um, access to resources, um, uh, channels in Asia. Mm. I mean, we're, we're called Global Therapeutics for a reason and I've always envisaged that one day we'll get there. Yeah, we well, haven't yet, it, but, it's but I a, believe we can now. It's looking very close, particularly with the huge um, channel portfolio, distribution portfolio that Blackmores has. Absolutely, yeah. and their staff already in place. And you know, this is the, the bit that really attracts me, but even more, within Australia, we haven't fully um, reached our potential. The area of research, education, um, extract development, 
uh, further scientific research is, is a passion that I have for the brand. We've already done some preclinical research and, and that is, is something that Blackmores is prepared to invest behind and, and grow. And it's important, I think, for the, for the trust factor, for the confidence that the consumer can have in the brands, in Fusion Health, in the health food store and in uh, Oriental Botanicals in the pharmacy, that, that it is backed up by good evidence, traditional evidence and modern scientific evidence. Paul Keogh, founder and technical director of Global Therapeutics, now with the Blackmores family. Thank you very much for joining Thanks. us. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for inviting me.